only two and a half hours drive from Abu Dhabi and three and a half from Dubai, lies one of UAE's most successful developments, Sabaniyas Island. This remote and protected island is one of the largest wildlife conservation projects in the Middle East. There are three accommodation options available on the island, ranging from traditional hotel rooms, seaside villas and safari-style savannah villas. We stayed at the Al Sahel Resort, which has 30 luxury safari villas set in a wild Africa-style savannah. One of my favorite experiences in the Middle East to date. The villas include a patio area with a private pool overlooking the Savannah wildlife. Spend some time relaxing by your pool or being surrounded by free roaming gazelles right on your own doorstep. Over time, the animals have developed a natural curiosity for the resort guests. Some of the land-based activities provide a great perspective of the island's size, typography and conservation efforts. My recommended options include the early morning nature walk, your tour guide will collect you from the resort and drive you to the entrance of the wildlife enclosure. Once inside, opt to drive past the huge herds of antelopes and deers to the back of the park, allowing more time to walk with the giraffes. We were taken on a personalised tour with a qualified nature guide, allowing us to walk alongside a large herd of giraffes as we roamed freely amongst the acacia trees. This allowed for a more personal wildlife photography experience. Depending upon the time of year you visit, it's probably best to take the early morning option at 6.30am, especially if visiting during the hotter months between May and September, although there is another walk at 8.30am. The tour runs for one and a half to two hours, but that can be unbearably hot after around 9am. There are several activities available for all ages and abilities at the Sabania Stable Yard. For beginners, there is a simple ride around the bush area, close to the stable yard. More experienced riders have the opportunity to view some of the wildlife up close while riding through the wildlife park. Most of the horses at the stable yard are now retired racehorses from around the UAE. The Wadi Walk was like landing on planet Mars. The now dry and arid volcanic landscapes have formed over millions of years through natural erosion. We were led by our tour guide through the Wadi, finding the remains of animal skeletons, oryx footprints, salt deposits, layers of limestone and sandstone, with mineral deposits such as gypsum and iron ore. An afternoon high tea in the savannah is quite a unique experience. Moving further into the bushland, you will feel you've truly escaped while being surrounded by free roaming wildlife. High tea is not to be missed if you want to indulge in a traditional English pastime in an African setting. The 
island was initially a private dwelling of the late Sheikh Zayed. Since his death in 2004, his wish was to transform the island into a wildlife reserve. The island is now home to over 11,000 animals and 30 different species. This includes the Arabian oryx, saved from extinction in the 1970s by the late Sheikh Zayed. Other species on the island include gemsbok, reticulated giraffes, cheetahs, hyenas, spotted deers, Indian red deers, sand and ring gazelles, just to name a few. The Discover Conservation Activity helped explain about the breeding conservation efforts on Sabanias Island. Also on offer are various land and water based activities including safari drives, nature walks, mountain biking, falconry, kayaking, paddle boarding and many more. Sabanias Island is unlike any other experience you will have in the Middle East. I would highly recommend visiting if you live in the Middle East region or if you are planning on a vacation in the UAE.